have been enjoying a nice, slow, relaxing Saturday. And boy, have I needed this. Sorry for the crappy lighting. It is a very gloomy day and now it is about the time where the sun is starting to go down. And with it being so much later in the day, I am enjoying peppermint tea. Ha, ah, a good wintry drink. How are you friends? <laughs> How are you friends? This is my first kind of like more relaxed chill vlog post vlogmas and first of the new year as I come out of vlogmas with intentions of not to let my perfectionism take over my life but also my creative process and my YouTube video making process. I have to kind of get back into the swing of vlogging coming out of like daily vlogging and then towards the end I was getting a little bit burned out and needed to take a break so no video went up this weekend and I'm enjoying my break but also started to do some filming because I'm up for it and why not get a head start at least. now and first show you this cute little notebook that I got as a reward from book of the month things I may or may not deal with later I didn't think this would be this big I thought it was going to be like a little like post-it note size pad but it is literally a huge pad and I like I specifically use pad <laughs> pads notepads like this at my day job when I just need to write out a brain dump my weekly tasks and I have a lot of space to write everything out. So who knows how I, I will use this. Also just good for like daily tasks. If I have a lot going on, keep it in my desk. And here are my two book of the month. <laughs> here are my two book of the month picks, which I'm very excited about. Babel by RF Kuang. I just, I'm just ready to read it guys. I want to post all the plot it sounds amazing and interesting to me, but I also want to form my own opinion. I just know that this has been a very hyped up book, a favorite book among many last year. And it's time that I dive into the hype and formulate my own opinion. So I am excited to read this possibly this month. And the other book is Age of Vice by Adipti Kapoor, which I've been seeing hyped up in a lot of places. I am really excited to read this book because it's definitely my, it's definitely my genre. It's described as like part family saga, part crime novel. And it's kind of giving me green bone saga vibes with the family dynamics and the crime dynamics. So I'm really excited to read this. This is the age of vice where pleasure and power, everything and the family ties that bond can also kill. It's about a family, an Indian family living in New Delhi and we follow these different characters who all have their own personalities and vices and I'm just really excited to dive into this. I think it's gonna be really fun and a good book for me to allow myself to read slowly and savor the stories because it is over 500 pages. It is 548 pages and Babel, how long is Babel? 542 pages. I am, I'm just like bringing, calling in the long books this year and I'm really, really excited to do that. And I am currently reading Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, which is a historical fantasy novel, which I've been wanting to read for months, but with fall and like holiday reads, I was just waiting until we got through that so I could, read this and it's my first official book of 2023 and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm about, I'm 93 pages in and this is part of a series that is about a boy named Fitz who is a bastard and is struggling between <laughs> being part of royalty but also not part of royalty and he is essentially 
trained to be an assassin for the royal family. And he also has a special ability called the wit, which is a magical power that allows him to like merge his mind and feelings with animals. And so far in the book, I've, we've seen him use his wit like his sight, his magical sight with a dog. And I'm really enjoying that kind of like supernatural aspect to this. And I just love my historical novels and it's a coming out of age story. And I think through the future books after this, we just see him grow up. When we're introduced to him, he's six years old. And now I think he's like 10 years old so far into the story. So I'm just ready to dive into a good character driven, book and have my heartstrings ripped apart because I've heard good things about this book. Ha! All right guys, let's talk about January goals and just goals and habits in general because I had just filmed my yearly goal setting video and I'll link that in the cards if you have not watched that yet. But from there, it was only my yearly goals and I didn't even really have time to think about my goals for January at all. I'm still trying to catch up from the holidays and the New Year's and work's been really crazy. So I decided to sit down and start drawing a mind map in my, I guess it's turning into my like goal journal now, but it's just a moleskin Kahir journal that I like to use from time to time. So I just drew out my little cloud and put some little points lines out of it to represent things and goals and habits that I want to focus on during this month and mind maps really help me I know they don't they're not for everybody but if you never tried doing a mind map I encourage you to try it just to kind of see if it works for you I don't know what it is about it for me but I think it just really works for my brain and I always like to do these on a monthly and quarterly level and also just how to break down my annual goals into monthly goals and tasks so I can move those along. So we're going to start with my reading goal, which is just to read two books because I want to read slowly, <laughs> as I've already mentioned already in this video. But I wrote out five different books that I definitely want to read this month, which is way over my two limit. And since I and trying to read slower and I'm also reading longer books I probably won't exceed my goal but I might be able to read another one or two of these books I also want to read Lunar Love by Lauren Kung Justin this month because of Lunar New Year happening so we will see how it goes and I like was excited to read The Circus Train and then forgot about it with all of the hustle and bustle of the January book of the month pick so I am <laughs> I owe my due diligence to read that book because I know some of you guys got that book as well. So let me know if you've read it already and what you think about it. So now I'm like referencing my other <laughs> workbooks, like my Artist of Life workbook, which I'm still getting the hang of using it. It's definitely a major change from Power Sheets. I've already talked about this in my previous video, but it's still like jarring to my system because I'm so used to power sheets so I have to just like dive in here so this mind map is essentially kind of like trying to finalize and like help me have more direction in terms of what I need to do and how much time I need to spend and kind of those actual steps to make these goals happen my physical health is something that I'm focusing on the entire year so trying to break that down into baby steps for the, this first month was <laughs> interesting so I'm just starting out with trying to ease back into a routine and schedule in time for my exercise so I want to do like 30 minutes of daily movement every day and if I miss a day or two here that's fine and ways that I can do daily movement is either through yoga which I can do with Yoga with Adrian, which I'm also doing her 30 day program. And I can also take a walk or watch like a YouTube video, just like low impact walking and beginner type stuff. But yeah, I'm feeling at least good where I'm at with all of that and really enjoying Yoga with Adrian, of course, because it's a tradition for me to just 
do that every year and it's been really good not just for my physical health but really also my mental and emotional health if we're thinking in terms of buckets my next gold bucket would be like my creative goals and i want to cultivate a daily sketchbook practice at a daily level but i also my like yearly goal is to fill an entire sketchbook and I've learned a lot from trying to develop a daily sketchbook practice last year. So I'm taking everything I've learned from that experience into consideration in terms of how I strategize my way to develop this habit. So it's been going really well so far. I have my 365 days of drawing book that I got for Christmas and that just helps me get started because that's always the problem is just like getting started and not knowing what to draw and then I just that's where where the spiral usually happens and I talk myself out of the, doing it so I just want to spend like 10 minutes minimum in my sketchbook every day just to really you know go into that habit and I've kind of carved out when I can do that morning before work lunch break and evening like before bed and maybe setting a timer could help. So far this week, I've drawn or shown up to my sketchbook every day and really excited to kind of continue that into next week. So my next kind of goal for this month that goes along with the sketchbook practice and just teaching myself how to draw with a self-study uh, curriculum is to take and complete a Skillshare class. I inadvertently paid for a yearly <laughs> subscription to Skillshare, so I really want to take advantage of that. And there's so many good like art classes and drawing classes on there. So I'd like to do a class this month. And back to developing my self-study curriculum, that's another goal for this month to either in Notion, Google Drive, and a journal, just kind of map out as if I was taking like a college course of, for drawing, just like map out my own kind of semester plan and my like curriculum if you will and I can put that and I found some helpful videos and resources online that can help me do that so I'm really excited to just kind of like draw that lesson plan out essentially and then in February and March I can really start diving into that so I would say this month is just focused on creating that plan and getting me and getting in the mindset to like go back to school or like you know teach myself this new skill color coding always helps. I'm trying to narrow down what my colors are, at least for now. On the YouTube front, I just want to post at least two videos this month and just try to focus on resting and taking kind of a mental and creative break and just kind of like brainstorm and let ideas come to me about how I want to take my channel this year. Lastly, lastly, up in the corner, I'm putting my habits, like my weekly habits that I want to work on this month, and then my daily habits. And these are just new habits. These aren't necessarily all my habits. Uh, <laughs> I kind of miss having a power sheets tending list to track all of this stuff. So I've been trying to figure out like the best way for me to track and also just like make the tracker have more of an impact on me. So currently I am tracking in my Kobanichi and I'm tracking in my Artist of Life workbook and just trying to see, you know, what sticks. So yeah, let me know what your goals are this this month, guys, or if you're just taking easy and you're not doing goals or what your, maybe what your intentions are uh, and how you're kind of, if you've mapped out your yearly goals, how are you kind of taking action on them or strategizing for them this month.
completely forgot to mention that my other goal for this month is to continue reading the book of Psalms as I make my way and journey through reading every chapter of the Bible. And that's what I'm doing now. So I like to just read the Bible through the Bible app and there's plans on there and that just helps me kind of structure and make it manageable for my schedule and everything. And I started this plan in October, on October 16th, and I'm not even halfway finished, just at Psalms 49, so I just started book two of the whole very long chapter. I think I need to kind of prioritize getting through this book a little more, and usually I only do Bible studies like on the weekends, so either Saturday or Sunday or both, depending on if I have a slower, quieter weekend. This week I only am doing it today. So I'm wondering if I should try and do it more throughout this week. It's something I'm gonna try and do. I'm not sure if that will work considering <laughs> my morning because I feel like I can only do my Bible study in the morning and then if I don't do it, I'll just completely forget to do it like after work or before bed. It's just not really ingrained in me to do it in the evening time. That is definitely another goal that is a work in progress <laughs> and I have some catching up to do. So I'm gonna continue reading through the plan and see how far I can get. So I never filmed a proper outro. It is a few days later, arguably many days later, <laughs> after I actually filmed this video. So I just want to say thank you guys for being here and let me know what your January goals and intentions are and how you're feeling so far into this brand new year. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys and I will see you in the next video.